in chemistry, a molecular orbital is a mathematical function describing the wave-like behavior of an electron in a molecule. This function can be used to calculate chemical and physical properties such as the probability of finding an electron in any specific region. The term orbital was introduced by Robert S. Mulliken in 1932 as an abbreviation for one electron orbital wave function. At an elementary level, it is used to describe the region of space in which the function has a significant amplitude. Molecular orbitals are usually constructed by combining atomic orbitals or hybrid orbitals from each atom of the molecule, or other molecular orbitals from groups of atoms. They can be quantitatively calculated using the Hartree Euro Fock or self consistent field methods. Overview A molecular orbital can be used to represent the regions in a molecule where an electron occupying that orbital is likely to be found. Molecular orbitals are obtained from the combination of atomic orbitals, which predict the location of an electron in an atom. A molecular orbital can specify the electron configuration of a molecule, the spatial distribution and energy of one electron, s. Most commonly an MO is represented as a linear combination of atomic orbitals, especially in qualitative or very approximate usage. They are invaluable in providing a simple model of bonding in molecules understood through molecular orbital theory. Most present-day methods in computational chemistry begin by calculating the MOs of the system. A molecular orbital describes the behavior of one electron in the electric field generated by the nuclei and some average distribution of the other electrons. In the case of two electrons occupying the same orbital, the Pauli principle demands that they have opposite spin. Necessarily this is an approximation, and highly accurate descriptions of the molecular electronic wave function do not have orbitals. Formation of molecular orbitals Molecular orbitals arise from allowed interactions between atomic orbitals, which are allowed if the symmetries of the atomic orbitals are compatible with each other. Efficiency of atomic orbital interactions is determined from the overlap between two atomic orbitals, which is significant if the atomic orbitals are close in energy. Finally, the number of molecular orbitals that form must equal the number of atomic orbitals in the atoms being combined to form the molecule. Qualitative discussion, for an imprecise, but qualitatively useful, discussion of the molecular structure, the molecular orbitals can be obtained from the linear combination of atomic orbitals molecular orbital method ANSATS. Here, the molecular orbitals are expressed as linear combinations of atomic orbitals equals linear combinations of atomic orbitals equals molecular orbitals were first introduced by Friedrich Hund and Robert S. Mulliken in 1927 and 1928. The linear combination of atomic orbitals or LCAO approximation for molecular orbitals was introduced in 1929 by Sir John Leonard Jones. His groundbreaking paper showed how to derive the electronic structure of the fluorine and oxygen molecules from quantum principles. This qualitative approach to molecular orbital theory is part of the start of modern quantum chemistry. Linear combinations of atomic orbitals can be used to estimate the molecular orbitals that are formed upon bonding between the molecule's constituent atoms. Similar to an atomic orbital, a Schröpp-Paragraph-Dingo equation, which describes the behavior of an electron, can be constructed for a molecular orbital as well. Linear combinations of atomic orbitals or the sums and differences of the atomic wave functions, provide approximate solutions to the hartree euro fock equations which correspond to the independent particle approximation of the molecular schröpp paragraph dingo equation. For simple diatomic molecules, the wave functions obtained are represented mathematically by the equations. Where and are the molecular wave functions for the bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals, respectively, and are the atomic wave functions from atoms A and B, respectively, and and are adjustable coefficients. These coefficients can be positive or negative, depending on the energies and symmetries of the individual atomic orbitals. As the two atoms become closer together, their atomic orbitals overlap to produce areas of high electron density, and, as a consequence, molecular orbitals are formed between the two atoms. The atoms are held together by the electrostatic attraction between the positively charged nuclei and the negatively charged electrons occupying bonding molecular orbitals. Equals bonding, antibonding, 
and non-bonding MOs equals, when atomic orbitals interact, the resulting molecular orbital can be of three types, bonding, antibonding, or non-bonding. Bonding MOs, bonding interactions between atomic orbitals are constructive interactions. Bonding MOs are lower in energy than the atomic orbitals that combine to produce them. Antibonding MOs, antibonding interactions between atomic orbitals are destructive interactions, with a nodal plane where the wave function of the antibonding orbital is zero between the two interacting atoms. Antibonding MOs are higher in energy than the atomic orbitals that combine to produce them. Non-bonding MOs, non-bonding MOs are the result of no interaction between atomic orbitals because of lack of compatible symmetries. Non-bonding MOs will have the same energy as the atomic orbitals of one of the atoms in the molecule. Equals sigma and pi labels for MOs equals, the type of interaction between atomic orbitals can be further categorized by the molecular orbital symmetry labels I fluorin, I euro, I, I, I cubed etc. paralleling the symmetry of the atomic orbitals S, P, D, F and G. The number of nodal planes containing the internuclear axis between the atoms concerned is zero for I fluorin MOs, one for I euro, two for I, etc. I fluorin symmetry. A MO with I fluorin symmetry results from the interaction of either two atomic S orbitals or two atomic PZ orbitals. An MO will have I fluorin symmetry if the orbital is symmetrical with respect to the axis joining the two nuclear centers, the internuclear axis. This means that rotation of the MO about the internuclear axis does not result in a phase change. An I fluorin orbital, sigma antibonding orbital, also maintains the same phase when rotated about the internuclear axis. The I fluorin orbital has a nodal plane that is between the nuclei and perpendicular to the internuclear axis. I eurosymmetry. A MO with I eurosymmetry results from the interaction of either two atomic PX orbitals or PY orbitals. An MO will have I eurosymmetry if the orbital is asymmetrical with respect to rotation about the internuclear axis. This means that rotation of the MO about the internuclear axis will result in a phase change. There is one nodal plane containing the internuclear axis, if real orbitals are considered. A I euro orbital, pi antibonding orbital, will also produce a phase change when rotated about the internuclear axis. The I euro orbital also has a second nodal plane between the nuclei. I symmetry. MO with I symmetry results from the interaction of two atomic DXY or DX2Y2 orbitals. Because these molecular orbitals involve low energy D atomic orbitals, they are seen in transition metal complexes. An I bonding orbital has two nodal planes containing the internuclear axis, and a I antibonding orbital also has a third nodal plane between the nuclei. I symmetry. Theoretical chemists have conjectured that higher order bonds, such as phi bonds corresponding to overlap of F atomic orbitals, are possible. There is as of 2005 only one known example of a molecule purported to contain a phi bond. Equals Gerard and Ungerard's symmetry equals, for molecules that possess a center of inversion there are additional labels of symmetry that can be applied to molecular orbitals. Central symmetric molecules include, humor nuclear diatomics, X2, octahedral, EX6, Square planar, EX4. Non central symmetric molecules include heteronuclear diatomics, XY, tetrahedral, EX4. If inversion through the center of symmetry in a molecule results in the same phases for the molecular orbital, then the MO is said to have Girard symmetry, from the German word for even. If inversion through the center of symmetry in a molecule results in a phase change for the molecular orbital, then the MO is said to have Ungerard's symmetry, from the German word for odd. For a bonding MO with I fluorin symmetry, the orbital is I fluorin G, while an antibonding MO with I fluorin symmetry the orbital is I fluorin U, because inversion of S a euro S is antisymmetric. For a bonding MO with I euro symmetry the orbital is I euro U because inversion through the center of symmetry for would produce a sign change while an antibonding MO with I eurosymmetry is I euro G because inversion through the center of symmetry for would not produce a sign change. Equals MO diagrams equals. 
The qualitative approach of MO analysis uses a molecular orbital diagram to visualize bonding interactions in a molecule. In this type of diagram, the molecular orbitals are represented by horizontal lines. The higher a line the higher the energy of the orbital, and degenerate orbitals are placed on the same level with a space between them. Then, the electrons to be placed in the molecular orbitals are slotted in one by one, keeping in mind the Pauli exclusion principle and Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. For more complicated molecules, the wave mechanics approach loses utility in a qualitative understanding of bonding. Some properties, a basis set of orbitals includes those atomic orbitals that are available for molecular orbital interactions, which may be bonding or antibonding, the number of molecular orbitals is equal to the number of atomic orbitals included in the linear expansion or the basis set, if the molecule has some symmetry, the degenerate atomic orbitals are grouped in linear combinations, which belong to the representation of the symmetry group, so the wave functions that describe the group are known as symmetry-adapted linear combinations. The number of molecular orbitals belonging to one group representation is equal to the number of symmetry-adapted atomic orbitals belonging to this representation. Within a particular representation, the symmetry-adapted atomic orbitals mix more if their atomic energy levels are closer. The general procedure for constructing a molecular orbital diagram for a reasonably simple molecule can be summarized as follows. 1. Assign a point group to the molecule. 2. Look up the shapes of the SALCs. 3. Arrange the SALCs of each molecular fragment in increasing order of energy, first noting whether they stem from S, P, or D orbitals and put them in the order S, 